Nick Fuentes is still in the news. My goodness. <laughs> My goodness. This guy, this guy is one of the best marketers. And I, there are people I t- I've talked about, Kim Kardashian, Kanye, Kanye West. is um, he's, He is so brilliant at marketing. I know he's crazy right now. He's Miles Davis, John Coltrane, Jimi Hendrix, Kurt Cobain. Like all these people who are so brilliant, whether it's music or marketing or whatever the case is, I really believe in the balance of life. They're, they're flawed as well. And I think that applies to young Nick Fuentes too, because he takes marketing to a level where he wants to be on the edge. And that's where his controversy is, but that's where his whole, that's why he was able to amass this movement and following. I listen, I've listened to, I pretty much listen, listen to Nick every night now. Um, I don't know how I fit it in. Well, I listen to Tim Pool and kind of almost like half Tim Pool, half Nick Fuentes right now. And my take, my take from Nick Fuentes, I'm going to get into this. Um, I don't even remember who she is, some Iowa lieutenant governor or something like Idaho. I mean, um, let me, let me search it real quick so I can. Man, she was pathetic. Before I get to this pathetic video, Janice McGreechen or something like that. I don't even care what her name is. Uh, Nick Fuentes. What my impression of Nick Fuentes? Because I've his name's been coming up. He's all over the place. I'm like I'm. I don't know this dude. I've, I know of him. I actually remember when he used to be on YouTube. I believe because he has the same background. It's. I think he's in Chicago, but I think the background's New York, if I'm not mistaken. But my big takeaway from Nick Fuentes is, and I want you to find out for yourself. Go visit his website, cozy dot c cozy tv dot com. So c o z y t v dot com. And I'm sure if you go there, you probably want to use a VPN. You'll probably wind up on a Fed list. But my my take is. I would say 90% of his content is just a smart philosopher, you know, religious, but really bright politically, socially. Um, It comes across authentic. I would say 90% of it is just nothing that would make you blink an eye, really. I mean, you might call him further right, but the 10% outside of that is marketing ploys that's my opinion i think he does have some agreement with some of these things he says but i think he really does the edgy stuff for marketing and the reason why i say that is if you take the edgy stuff away from him when i see when i when i mean edgy stuff i'll play a couple clips maybe here or just talk about it is the you know the the secret sauce of our movement and i think he was quoting somebody else but whatever the secret, the secret sauce of our, mu- our movement are these young, white men. That's just his marketing. That's, that's my impression of it. He, he obviously doesn't hate black people from, you know, seeing he's hung out with Bryson Gray. He had a black speaker there. He had a Jesse Lee Peterson speak. It's marketing. And it's, it's brilliant. Now, he's, he's willing to do marketing on the edge that is not my style, but without that marketing, he would be milquetoast. He wouldn't have the following. Without these more kind of edgy type of takes, he wouldn't have a following. Look how look how brilliant he is. He has occupied Democrats. He has patriot takes. These are establishment cabal left, you know, establishment institution type things. They're like bootlicking organizations. He has them posting his clips on Twitter. Oh, that's a win. I mean, that's an absolute win for him. He can trend on Twitter, even though he's banned on Twitter. It's, it's flat out brilliant, to be honest with you. So let's, let's look at the comment here that really pissed me off. These people that, these people that we elect are just, they're empty shells familiar with who puts this event on like Nick Fuentes I don't I don't know who he is I don't 
what? The, Marjorie Taylor Greene said the same thing, right? What do you mean you don't know who he is? And that you don't even, so say you don't, say you really, maybe she doesn't. Maybe she's never really listened to his videos. I don't know. It's either that either she's telling the truth or maybe she is some type of radical person and she doesn't know how to hide it. What does he, what do you mean I don't know who he is? <laughs> I've never met him. I don't know who he is. Did you not look in? You've never met him. That's how you start the answer? The question was... Are you familiar with who puts this event on? Like Nick Fuentes? I don't, I don't know. She, she's scared to say yes. So the guy asked me... Are you familiar with who puts this event on? Like Nick Fuentes? Yes, I'm familiar with him. <laughs> it's not complicated. Y yes, I'm familiar with him. I spoke at his event. <laughs> She's scared of the path. If she says yes, where, what's the next question? Because she's being disingenuous. She's scum. This is a scumbag right here. And I, I like that someone's open to speak at a Nick Fuentes event, but if you can't articulate why you were there, I don't, I, I, it makes me wonder why you were there. I don't, I don't know who he is. She looks like, she looks scared. Why is she so scared? I don't, I've never met him. I don't know who he is. Did you not oh look into gosh. it before you? And then he asked, did you not look into it? decided to say, okay, like to find out. I mean, his name is on it. Well, you know what? Nick Fuentes, I don't, as I said, I don't know him. I do, he, he's never, I've never met him. I don't know, you know. She looks like she's seen a ghost. What, what is, what he's, everything that he says or doesn't say is not, uh, does not reflect on who oh I am or God. who the thousands of others that are participating in this movement. Oh my God. What are these people? They're not even human beings. So she says she doesn't know him, then she's scared as hell. So if you don't know him, why are you scared? Like, do you need to sit down? And then she said, then she kind of tries to denounce him. If you don't know him, what are you denouncing? I am or who the thousands of others that are participating in this movement. You didn't bother to look up his name or anything? I didn't say that. You, you did look. You just said you didn't know him. Came up. He, he, you didn't, that's not the question that you asked me. Oh my goodness. Did you look up who Nick Fuentes was and what, he, he, what he's talked about? Like what he, things he has said? I have since. Since last okay. week, not before? Yes. Okay, I guess the question is, because you, if you've said, well, I'm only Again, here because- Again, it's not fair. I mean, you, the, the main- It's not fair. Anyone, anyone who has spoken at a Nick Fuentes event if if you've done it on an authentic manner, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with her. If you've done it in a genuine manner, you would love to have a microphone in front of your play, face to answer those questions. I, I've never spoken at a Nick Fuentes event, and I would love to have that microphone in my face asking me those questions. That's an opportunity to get across what you feel like. Why are you on the defense? There. Mainstream media, every, you do this to conservatives all the time, oh. but you don't do it to yourself. That every time, anytime there's any kind of affiliation with anybody at any time on any. So I know where she's going, but she's just not articulating it well. She's just doing a terrible job. Stage that we're all guilty by association, and it's not, it's not appropriate. But you, you see, she just made herself guilty. What is she guilty of? We don't even know. The, the guy asking the questions didn't even allege anything. All he said was, do you know Nick Fuentes? She looks like she's been interrogated for a bank robbery or something. It, the association is, is not a good one. To be associated with people who are anti-Semitic. Or... Stop, stop. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, my God. 
MTG did that too, but it wasn't as bad, not as awkward. Excuse me. Yes. You asked me why I was there, why I wanted to participate and speak to these young conservatives. That's, that's what we're talking about right now. Okay. Uh, Vincent James is also there. Correct? Do you know who Vincent James is? I, I've, I've heard of him. You've had your picture taken with him? I did have my picture taken with him. Okay. Do you know what he stands for and things that he has said? No, I don't know all the things that he or anybody else. And again, I'm just going to keep repeating the same thing that this guilt by association that the media tries to do with conservatives and conservatives only is that if we ever have met somebody once or took a picture with them or ever shared a stage with somebody. I know where she's going. I'm just going to let it ride out so I don't keep interrupting it. I know where she's going, but it's not landing. We ever, ever, uh, we're all guilty by association. If you want to know why I went there and why, what my message was, go, go watch my video. I, I did watch your video. And if you so had that's known, what it was all about. If you had known who Nick Fuentes is, would you have stayed? So she's trying, she's trying to recover it because that is a big part of it. You know, what did I say at the event is a huge part of the event, right? If you're questioning me, but she's just not doing a good job. Said yes. Well, again, this, this, this movement is so much bigger than one individual. Who cares what Nick Fuentes has to say? Who cares? Thousands and thousands of young cares. What I'm sorry, I can't let this go without. I, I care. The dude's influential. Caring about what somebody says, I care what Nicole Hannah Jones says. That doesn't mean I agree with her. She is. Fuentes has to say, who cares? There's thousands and thousands of young conservatives all across the country that are very concerned and about what's happening to our country. We are fighting for the soul of our nation with these wide open borders. It's only a matter of time. Here she goes into the platitudes and talking points. That America, we lose who we are as a free country. And so, and I'm not gonna run away. I'm not gonna hide from being, being willing and wanting to go talk to young conservatives about these issues. If you say nobody cares what Nick Fuentes says, but people care that you're associated with them or that you share a stage or something. Again, like that. you're trying to you're trying to do this guilt by association over and over and over again, and it needs to stop. Because if you want to know who I am and why I went there, I told you that. And you know, my don't assassinate me or my character over something that any individual that I may ever have met in my life. If there are things that, that are said or that they believe in, then that's that person, that's not me. But that's so. not the first time. My point of bringing up Vincent James. Here's the attack. Right? Here's, here's the parachute. This is, when, this is when you're in the fighter plane and you're like, uh, mayday, mayday, they got a lock on me, I'm out. My point of bringing up Vincent James. There you go. Right? Yeah. I mean, that's not the first time you've been associated with, the, with this group. Interview's over. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, he knows he got her. <laughs> Christ, that was so pathetic. That was so sad. I, I want her to just resign. I really. And it's tough because I, I really respect that somebody would be willing to. But I, if that's the response afterwards, absolutely not. I, I got a really strange. I know this is going to sound really, really, really weird. But hear me out. Hear me out. Just say hypothetically. There's no reason why Nick Fuentes would want me to speak to his group. Just, just hypothetically. Hear me out. Say I went and spoke to his group, and I, you know I stayed, you know, in line with my um, beliefs. Oh, what's up, Alex Shepard? I'm talking about Nick Fuentes. I, that's um Janice. That was Janice Mc. I don't know what her name is. Mc McGeechin. I don't even know how to pronounce it. And gosh, I hate to say it. She was so terrible. Like, I don't even care to pronounce her name right. I'll just be honest with you. Thanks for stopping by, Alex. Alex Shepard, that's a big time. Um, man, he's big time on Twitter, in my opinion. Thanks for stopping by. Um, so just say say I say I spoke at the Nick Fuentes event and 
here's I, this sounds really, really weird. I know. I know it's weird. Hear me out. Hear me out. And somebody says, well, Nick Fuentes, he supports Putin. He's pro-Putin. Like he calls him the czar and he speaks glowingly about him. How could you speak it in like that? Here's, here's the crazy, radical way to do it. I know this has never been done before. I don't agree with that. <laughs> is that, is that a, a tough sit? Is that hard to do? Like, that's not hard. So, say, say they say, well, he talks about the secret sauce of his group. He talks. He always talks about it, and he, he he's not afraid to talk about these handsome white men. Anyway, he really knows how to roll with the punches, and I know he's going to get a lot of heat for that. He's going to get a lot of criticism, but he really knows how to roll with the punches, rolling right along. God bless him. So thank you, Madison. Thank you, Madison, for backing. <laughs> Nick is a fool for this. If you don't know. Madison's confined to a wheelchair. Come on, Nick. Me up. I know everybody was attacking me over Putin and based Madison. Thank you for having my back, bro. I appreciate you. You're a real one, fellow. What handsome white man? We appreciate you. We we have to stick together. Us handsome white men like you and I, Madison. We are under attack in America. <laughs> we have to stand up for each other. We have to hang. Patriots takes replayed that one. I'm gonna stop it just in case because I know he's a controversial dude. I, I mean, what's controversial there? So somebody says, "You spoke in an event where he's talking about these handsome white men have to stick together, and he's also saying his secret sauce are these young white men. How could you speak at an event like that?" Well, I don't know. Maybe I don't know his. <laughs> I don't know his secret sauce. If his secret sauce is handsome young white men, then more power to him. I don't have a problem with it. Is that is that complicated? Here's another one. Um, you know, you spoke at an event with Nick Fuentes, and Nick Fuentes said that or implied. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt because he can't defend himself. He implied that. Black people are more prone to violence. How could you speak at an event like that? Here's my radical answer. I disagree. <laughs> Is that complicated? Uh, one more, one more. Nick Fuentes, he's got these ideas, all this ideology, and he's clearly authoritarian in his views. Because if he had power, he wouldn't you know, be afraid to flex it. That's why he likes Putin in a way. I don't agree with that. <laughs> that. And here's here's the wild thing. Here's the wild thing that y'all don't understand. We can agree to disagree and still talk. <laughs> we can still talk. We can still go out for a beer. We can still dap up. He's not a, this group isn't violent. They're not threatening anybody. They have their own ideas. We can dap up. They put their stupid little ducks with the big butts in the chat. You can do what, and you can say, hey, that's different, y'all, <laughs> and laugh at each other. I, I know that sounds, oh, my God, that sounds impossible. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. How dare you? How could you go and talk with Nick Fuentes and you don't agree with everything he said? But there's a lot that I agree with Nick Fuentes on also. Hey, here's the crazy thing, too. If I disagree with AOC on a lot of things, I disagree with, I don't know, I just, I have a talk, David Doyle, I, whoever, I disagree with a lot of people on stuff. I disagree with Mitt Romney on a lot of things. You know what I would be able to, if Mitt Romney wanted to speak to his crowd, you know what? I would go speak to them. Is, is that a... I, oh, you know what? I got a new concept. How about we create a First Amendment where we can all say what we feel as long as we don't infringe on each other's rights? I got it. And then that way, we can hash out these ideas out in the open, find out where we agree, be able to agree to disagree on other things, and share a union. 
that would be a, a that would be a wonderful idea. I don't understand. Do I side with Nick Fuentes? I don't side with anybody. My wife and I don't side on politics. Why the hell would Nick Fuentes and I? Are you okay in your head? <laughs> Why wouldn't I speak at a Nick Fuentes group? They're not threatening me. They're not violence. It's free. I, I side with free speech. Do you want to come with me next time? As long as as long as there's no violence or hostility, and I'm not really into debates that are like hostile, unless Eric July is doing it. <laughs> He's so funny. But I would speak at anybody's group as long as we can share ideas. <laughs> Let me know what you think. These people are crazy, man. It's not complicated. Why is this so hard? If you want, I'm not going to go through you. I'm not going through every single Nick Fuentes idea with you as an, as a reporter. If you want to do that, I would take, I would say, Hey, you know what? I'm going to be on gab later. Hit me up on sign up for a gab account. I'm not affiliated. I'm not affiliated with gab. I don't get any money from gab. The reason I bring up gab is because that's where he is. Cause he's banned on these other platforms. A 23-year-old that, to my knowledge, hasn't broken any laws. He's not in jail. On a no-fly list for his ideas? He can't even use regular processors to collect payments. That's the country that you respect? He has a... I, I defend his First Amendment right to believe whatever the hell he wants to believe, just like this crackpot garbage that people believe all over the place. I don't know. It's just it's not hard for me. I don't know how I don't know if it's hard for anybody else.